I found the final volume early at Barnes & Noble. So obviously I got to talk about it. <laughs> oh, but seriously, you don't know how excited I was. So I was walking into a Barnes & Noble and I was like, wait, wait a minute. You're not supposed to be out for like another two weeks. June 7th. I found it May 28th. I'm definitely picking you up. Like I'm de it's definitely happening. And then I ran home and read it. And then I turned on this camera and here we are. So what are my thoughts on the end of Chainsaw Man? Well, the end of part one. There's a part two, it's already been announced. It's coming. As a final volume, in my opinion, the action was great. It was basically, this whole volume was Dingy versus Makama. And I say Dingy and not Chainsaw Man because it actually, in my opinion, is Dingy. He has to come to terms with himself. In this whole volume, it's all about him kind of coming to terms with, does he want to be Chainsaw Man? Because at this point, everyone has heard about Chainsaw Man and he's actually become like a, a popular public figure, like Spider-Man. He wants girls more than Spider-Man and he wants food more than Spider-Man. Spider-Man's not Deadpool? Yeah, I would say, okay, yeah, like Deadpool. And that's what I think this volume does incredibly well. And what this series up until this point for the end of part one has done incredibly well is to make these honestly what could come off as simple characters have some sort of emotional depth to them because let's be honest dingy could come off as having no emotions kind of just like i want a girlfriend i want food they could come off as that but by the end of this volume he's taking care of baby makama i'm gonna I'm be honest I have a lot of questions by the end of this volume. I'm glad the final page said end of part one because man, if this was the end of Chainsaw Man, I would honestly say after how strong volume 10 was, volume 11, yes, he defeated Makama by eating her. <laughs> Chainsaw Man is wild. Uh, yeah, so if you've read it, you know. Because I think the chapters have been out way longer on the Shonen Jump app, but as physical, it's not even released yet. I, I got it early. I don't know if you guys heard in the beginning of the video. I got it early. It's very exciting. But I am left with so many questions. Like, at this point, is he just now a hunter? Because even Kishibe says, you were born for this. Like, please don't die. You were born to do this job. So now it's him, a bunch of dogs, and Niyuta? It's baby Makama. I don't... I, like, child Makama. And she seems older than, like, a day. Which he just defeated. Ate her. A ate her with a meal. He sautéed her. <laughs> if you can say anything about Chainsaw Man, wild is the word I would use. But don't get me wrong, the action was great. And the end of the Makama Denji storyline was well done enough but i really liked how dingy had to struggle is chainsaw man dingy is dingy chainsaw man and them having to come together and power came back as the blood demon power coming back and then giving her blood to dingy to be like go save me that their relationship if if their relationship is not explored in part two i have an issue i, I have an issue that needs to happen but whether I would rate volume 10 higher than volume 11 and the end of this part to Chainsaw Man's story is kind of irrelevant. Because what really it drove home for me was if you're looking for a manga, it's hard right now in the current run of stuff to get the aesthetic and the look and the feel that Chainsaw Man has. There's not a manga like it. And the mangaka... If you haven't watched my Goodbye Airy review, I love his work. I can't wait to collect and read all the Fire Punch. Uh, he also has a one shot coming out physically. Don't look back, I think. Like, I'm a fan of this person. And I'm a fan of Chainsaw Man. But I loved Volume 10. I loved it. And again, this was not the end of Chainsaw Man. If it was the end of Chainsaw Man, I would have a lot more. Because to me, it ended with a thud. Not like an explosion, an excitement of work and like, oh, these characters that we have went on this adventure with was a satisfying conclusion. It was absolutely an end of an arc. And with that, I will say that it did its job. 
it posed so many questions and left Denji and the world of Chainsaw Man in a state where I want to see their next adventure. I'm actually very excited to see where this goes. What happens with Power and the Blood Demon? What happens with Kid Makama? Now that Chainsaw Man is such a popular hero to these people, he's not feared anymore. And that was Makama's whole thing. I've taken the fear from you, Denji. What can you do about it? And Denji's relationship with the Chainsaw Demon. I think the most interesting things about Chainsaw Man is coming. So as a part one, as an introductory arc to this world and these characters, I think the whole thing was fantastic. There was some peaks and some valleys, some ups and some downs. But overall, there's a reason that when this manga started coming out at least here in America, you couldn't find it at Books A Million and Barnes and Nobles for a while. It was one of the hottest mangas on the shelves. And I think that's why it's one of the highly anticipated animes coming out this fall season. Because if you go with look, and design Mappa's doing the animation for the anime, so come on. It's Mappa. Forget about it. It's great. <laughs> but if you're looking for design characters, crazy adult gory, gory is the word, action, you can't find a manga like Chainsaw Man. Overall, I think Chainsaw Man has been a wild ride. And I think it's only just getting started. And I think part two, whatever that may be and whenever it will come, will only build on what this part one of the Chainsaw Man journey started. I am incredibly interested and excited to see what he does with it. Because he has built a world and a certain set of characters and a style that is hard to find in popular Shonen Jump. So yeah, I cannot believe I found it early, one. Two, that it's kind of over. And I I know it's been announced in a part two. I don't know when it's coming out. I hope it's soon. Because I'm definitely going to probably read chapter by chapter on the app. Definitely. But yeah, the first arc of Chainsaw Man is done. It's been a wild adventure. And, and Denji is such a fun character. He's such a unique main character in Shonen manga titles. That might be a separate video. <laughs> but yeah, as always, if you have made it to the end of this video, I appreciate you wholeheartedly. And let me know what you thought of the end of Chainsaw Man. Well, part one. <laughs> Down in the comments below, because as you guys know by now, my favorite part is talking with you guys in the comments. And as a person that did not feel super strongly about the ending, I really want to hear about if you felt real strongly about the ending one way or the other. I'm very middle of the road. I feel like we have some interesting things to talk about. So yeah, I'll see you next time. <laughs>